everyone, so I thought I would do something a little bit different today and talk about my style and fashion favourites. And fashion isn't really something that I do much on this channel or on my blog much because I'm not really that fashionable to be honest. I do have a few pieces in my wardrobe at the moment that I've been really enjoying wearing, I really like and uh, that I thought I would share with you and they are all very, now that I look at them together, very autumn-y, autumn inspired. It's definitely autumn now in England. I think we can safely say that it's cold rainy it's dark outside so these are all kind of autumn transitional pieces I'd say I've even got a very autumny nail polish on at the moment which is SC Soulmate so one of my staple items of clothing that I probably wear the most of anything are a good pair of jeans and I'm not really one to go for skirts or you know dresses things like that especially now that the weather's changed and my favorite favorite jeans are from ASOS and I know a lot of people love the Topshop Lee jeans but I've never been able to get on with them they just don't seem to fit me right which is really strange and I find them quite low on me whereas I like a, a slightly higher waisted jean so these are the ASOS Ridley jeans and I love these I think they are the best jeans you can buy I have three colors here I have a black version a pale one and then a just kind of mid-tone blue. So these are just standard skinny jeans, nothing too exciting about them, but I find the fit is really nice. Like I said, they're slightly high waisted, so they really suck everything in, which is what I like. And I have actually um, an ankle grazer version. I have the ankle grazers in the dark pair and the darker blue as well. And I find that they just a slightly more flattering cut on the bottom, but you can still roll them up and have a kind of turn up, which I also like on my jeans. I think the lighter pair are my favourites at the moment. These are actually ripped ones, and I know it's ridiculous paying five or ten pounds more to actually have ripped jeans when you could just do it yourself, but I really, really like these, and they also have a little turn up at the bottom, and they're just such a nice colour. They're not too, they're not too pale, but then they're not too dark. They just seem to fit somewhere right in the middle, so I absolutely love these, and they're definitely a staple for me at the moment. Now these are definitely seen at better days, they are looking bruised and battered, but these are my Birkenstocks and I said, I remember saying to myself, I will never buy a pair of Birkenstocks, they are so ugly, why do people like those? But I caved, I did buy them when I was on holiday and I thought they'd be just perfect shoes to walk around in, not worry about getting messy or dirty and you know, just something quite comfortable to wear. I do absolutely love the way they look though, especially with a pair of jeans or you know a more looser pair, like a boyfriend style, or even just with shorts and skirts and things. I have literally worn these probably 90% of the time for the last couple of months. So these are the Arizona style, which just have the two straps with the buckle and the black buckle. And I didn't actually get the leather versions, I got the, I'm not sure what it is, the, the slightly cheaper version, and they were on ASOS, just because I thought I wouldn't get that much wear out of them and you know I didn't really need to invest that much in them and I could just do with the non-leather ones but now in hindsight I kind of wish I had gone for the leathers because they were only I think maybe 10 or 15 pounds more but I've had so much wear out of these I actually took them to Belgium with me when we went to see the Grand Prix and wore them there which is probably not the best idea really because it rained and my toes got very wet and very cold and they got very muddy but they're still fine I've given them a clean a few times and they've handled it really well so they're pretty durable now this is definitely one of my favourite things at the moment and it's a little satchel backpack that I got um, from ASOS. It's actually from Warehouse but I bought it on ASOS and I never thought I would be a backpack kind of person. I always love the way they look on people but I didn't think I'd be able to pull it off myself. Again I bought this when we were going on holiday because I thought it would just be really easy to throw everything in and chuck it on your back and you not have to worry about carrying it on your arm but I just fell in love with it. I love the way it looks, I love the colour. I'm not sure that it's real leather but again it's really really durable, it's lasted really well, it's been rained on, battered quite a lot, thrown in the back of the car and it's fine. You'll probably recognise this from my last What's My Bag video and I got a lot of comments on that video saying people were surprised how much I actually managed to fit in there but although it looks quite small and it is quite a small bag you can fit so much in there, it's got a really wide base to it and it actually opens up and expands too so you can unpop these little things on the side and there's just even more room so you can really fit a lot in there. I now really want to get a different coloured backpack, I really love the way the Longchamp um, backpacks look, I like the black version, they have a little almost canvasy style backpack so I may have to invest in that but at the moment this is doing me really really well. So I've got a few more clothes here as well and this first one is from Topshop and this is a little chambray shirt, it's a really nice material, it's not quite a denim but it definitely has a slight 
denim feel to it but it's very light and loose and I've been wearing this a lot over the last few months. I think you've probably seen it in quite a few videos but it's such an easy to wear, very casual, very loose and light shirt. It's quite big and oversized and long but I really like that about it and I think it looks really nice when I pair it with a pair of black jeans and then Birkenstocks just again gives it a nice casual edge to it but you can also dress it up and sort of tuck it in, wear a nice statement necklace as well, maybe a pair of heels and it's, it's very versatile that way. I'm definitely not a big shirt wearer, I remember the phase that I think we all went through of wearing the shirts buttoned right up to the top and then the little jumpers and a necklace as well and after that I just didn't really think about wearing shirts again. I wear a lot of jumpers, you've probably noticed this already from my videos but I like a good sort of jersey, lightweight jumper, pair of jeans, pair of boots, pair of Birkenstocks, something like that and that is pretty much my standard outfit so this is something a little bit different for me but I do really really like it. I also think Topshop have some amazing amazing pieces at the moment. I have done a sneaky little Topshop order. I will actually show you one thing that I bought. So I got this hat and I loved the colour of it. It's kind of like a greyish almost a little bit purpley grey and then it's got a little burgundy stripe around it but I'm definitely not a hat person, they do not seem to suit me at all. I'm still, I'm kind of undecided on whether I like this or not. I think it makes me look a bit like a farmer so let me know what you think. So back to the actual favourites and uh, this coat is probably my most worn thing at the moment apart from possibly my Birkenstocks but you've probably seen it on my blog if you follow that or if you follow me on Instagram as well and it's this dark kind of khaki um, coat almost a little bit military style I'd say and this is from H&M and it's got really nice gold hardware I like it when things have gold details and zips and things it's quite short as well, it's definitely not as long as a standard kind of parka coat which is nice because it is cold enough to wear a jacket but it's definitely not cold enough for a proper full on coat so it sits nicely in between the two. I also just really love the colour, I'm definitely a big fan of khaki especially when it comes to autumn time and I think it looks really nice with a kind of tan bag and you know a nice pair of jeans things like that so that's one of my favourites at the moment. So the last thing I have to show you is a scarf from Zara and yes I've bought a scarf, I've officially given in to the cold weather but I haven't worn this a great deal yet just because it hasn't been that freezing but I just loved it when I saw it, I knew I had to have it and it's got this kind of geometric style print, it's just black and white uh, but it's a really nice scarf, it's absolutely huge, <laughs> it's pretty much a big square, big square scarf and you can just kind of throw it on and I love it when scarves are really nice and thick and you can just snuggle up in them. It also makes just a really nice blanket, you know, if you're cold, sitting at home, just need to wrap up. I think Zara do scarves and autumn, winter things so well, so it's definitely a dangerous place to be at the moment, but I love this. I think I'll be wearing this constantly when it gets a lot colder. So those are all my current style, staple style favourites. I hope you enjoyed watching that. Something quite different to the videos I usually do, so let me know if you liked it and if you'd like to see anything similar or any more style fashion videos. I'll see what I can come up with, but I will see you all soon.